going on guys frosty here and welcome back guys to another video on the channel now today guys we are going to be doing something a little bit different from the usual and usually i would try to record factions but today guys i want to do something a little bit different from either just a regular survival world and a factions world and that is skyblock now for those that don't know what skyblock is it is pretty much well a skyblock um <laughs> pretty much you are on a block with no bottom of the world down there as you can see there's nothing and if i jump down there i i would die i would fall out of the world and it, it wouldn't be fun so pretty much guys i am stuck on this block now most skyblock servers or not servers but worlds we either have just one island and a bunch of others scattered out that you have to go visit. Or, like the one I downloaded, it has something else in store. Now, I know what that is, but I would like to show you guys when we get over there. But we do have to mine some stuff to get ourselves over there. Now, with this world, there are some challenges that I could do. Um, and some of those challenges are, you know, or well, some of them are mostly rules, which is not mine this island specifically but also to build another portal in the back. Now, my render distance is turned up quite a bit, actually 16 chunks. And you could see another nether portal over there. Now, me and MVT were actually playing on this world, and I tried recording it, and when I went to edit up all the videos, they turned out like the regular old videos. Now, I believe I found out the problem. When I mean regular old videos, I mean like in the last Factions episode, well, all you could see was where my mouse was last checkpointed. So there's pretty much nothing but mouse um, pointers all over the screen. And it, and it really sucked. It really sucked. But I believe I found the issue out. And we'll see how that works out for us. But yeah, guys. So pretty much on a Skyblock um, Malter... Gotta restart that. Gotta restart that. Pretty much, guys. On a Skyblock Survival World... Uh, trees are very, very, very crucial. Now, saving up your saplings is something you would want to do on a basis of just mining the leaves and getting as many saplings as you can. Now, saplings are very crucial, so I will keep it in here, but I will have to move this because I gotta make a cobblestone gen. Now, for those that really don't know or that are starting off on, like, Skyblock, or say just Minecraft in general, say you just got the game and you want to know some basics, or you're just trying to get into the game. Skyblocks, I would consider, is a really fun and challenging game mode, just because, well, it's challenging. And pretty much, guys, the challenge to Skyblock is that you don't have, and like I was looking over at the edge, is that there's no stone beneath it. There's no diamonds, there's no nothing beneath the world. And pretty much, as I'm setting up here, is a cobblestone generator, so... Hopefully I don't screw it up, but pretty much, guys, what you do is on this map, it will give you guys a block of ice and lava bucket and, of course, a pumpkin, and I'm wearing the pumpkin, so let's go ahead and take that off. Um, but pretty much what you want to do is place on one side the water and on the other side the lava. Now, as doing it right, it should generate the stone right here. Now, if I place it here cobblestone should appear right here and as i mine that cobblestone will keep on appearing unless well i end up breaking this and screwing it all up but that is what it should do so what i'm going to do guys is get myself a crafting bench some basic tools and get our way over to that house Alrighty guys, so we have now made it over from our island to this island. Now as you guys can hear, there are some villagers inside this building. Now, all these villagers are pretty, they pretty much sell as what they say right there. This one will uh, sell natural resources. Now, as you can see, it will sell sand, it will sell glass, and a bunch of other things. Now, in order to buy this stuff, you have to get mine coins. Now, mine coins are pretty much emeralds, but just retextured. And you could get that by selling items like food. And, of course, you could sell natural resources. So, f for 64 cobblestone, you can get two mine coins, and so on and so forth. For 64 wood planks, you can get 
three mine coins. So, what we're gonna have to do, guys, is figure out what we want to sell and what we want to get. And look at that! We got ourselves a cow! What a surprise, what a surprise! Now, one thing about this world, as you guys could see, there is a portal kind of looking thing here. And, of course, I have obsidian in my chest over here. So what we're gonna do is fill up the spaces with obsidian, and once we get the stuff, we should be able to build ourselves a portal to head to the nether. Now, I believe when looking and downloading at the world, now, me and MVT, of course, we played this, like I was saying, and, um, and pretty much, they have a nether world on the other side of this, where it sells all the nethery stuff, so we're gonna have to go there and get some of the nether stuff in order to, uh, in order to really continue our, our living on these islands. So, hopefully, hopefully we can survive. And now a chicken's spawning on here. I'm liking this island. I'm liking this island a lot. So, as the sun falls and the moon rises... Oh, I switched it up there. As the sun falls and the moon rises, I went ahead and made myself an infinite water source over here. Now, that will make it a lot easier... So I'm not panicking with water and buying it from the villagers. So it should be a lot easier to build around and to do things. Now one thing I do want to get is a cobblestone pick to make this process a whole lot easier. And it should make it a lot easier. Oh man, this cow is uh is dancing over my spot there, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna have to move. Oh man, now he's now he's found himself inside. There you go, there you go, he has now moved. So guys, what I'm gonna do is mine up some of this cobblestone, and I'm gonna go ahead and, oh my god, you almost killed yourself, buddy. You're gonna have to move, give him a little love tap, and hopefully he stays away from here, not push the chicken off into the void. So, what I'm gonna do, like I was saying, is mine up 64 cobblestone and get ourselves our first two mine coins. Oh, this cow is... This cow's really annoying. I just witnessed the cow jump in there and kill himself. I was mining cobblestone and he walked over and just as I mined it, fell in and the cobblestone pushed him into the fire. Oh, poor cow. Hopefully this chicken... Wait, where is he? Where's the chi Okay, I was gonna say, hopefully the chicken doesn't do the same thing and follows his animal brethren into the fire. Hopefully he stays away. And there we have it, guys. We got our first two mine coins accomplished. Now, one thing I do want to check is how much um, some of the things are on this. 20 mine coins for a water bucket. Okay, now when we, me and MVT were playing, I really never looked at how much this stuff was. So 50, I did see this, 50 coins to get an end portal so we will have to grind a lot guys to get that end portal to go fight the dragon now what else can we get on here uh so this is just pretty much all the blocks and resources uh plants he's got trees 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 and trees all right i guess that's all all he sells minerals all righty so this this is where where the fun begins all righty so uh I remember looking at this, so it's 10 for iron, and I remember 20 for gold. Now, when me and MVT were playing this, we went to the nether, we checked out the nether house, and when we came back, a creeper was in, like, he w we left the door open, and a creeper snuck into here, and we were out here, so there's no way for us to really get onto the other side unless we pill it around. We didn't have any blocks to do that, so we blocked off this and started punching off the creeper from the feet, and you know, starting to kill him, when all of a sudden, a baby zombie rushed in through the door and turned these two um, villagers into zombie villagers. So we lost out on buying some blocks, which we needed, and we also lost out on water buckets... You know, all the really, really, really good stuff we lost out on, which really, really, really sucked. So, we got stuck with that, and uh, we ended up cheating, uh, you know. We, we had to do something, but the zombie made us do, went down, we went, we went downhill, guys. We went downhill, and uh, we fixed them up, but uh, yeah, it, it was bad. It was bad. It was, it was very bad. 
So pretty much, guys, I went ahead and stored our mine coin in here, and I also had to sadly kill our chicken because he glitched out and got stuck down there and started suffocating, so I decided to put him out of his misery. And now we have a pig. We have a brand new pig, so uh, hopefully he doesn't do what the cow and chicken ended up like. Hopefully you don't end up like that. No, we, we want you. We want you here. <laughs> so guys, I am going to end the episode here. I know it was a short one, um, but I got, I'm got i a little bit busy in the afternoon now. Now, I did say on Twitter, and if you don't follow me on my Twitter, go ahead and do that. It should be in the description. Um, but I did say that with my new uh, schedule coming up, uh, videos will be coming out more in the afternoon. So uh, hopefully... Hopefully I can get some videos out for you guys, and I should be able to, but I do have, like, soccer practice and all that, um, around 7. So, for me, it's gonna be a little jam-packed, but I will do everything I can to get videos out for you guys. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.